Alright, this is an album cover coming at you with another game between Kodiak, the random player who is playing, that spawned his Protoss here on Metalopolis uh, at the 3 o'clock position, and we've got Dinwo who is uh, red, the Red Terran here at the 12 o'clock position. So, very, spawning at close positions, this could be a very, uh, very action-packed game um, if Kodiak decides to go for a quick pull, um, or if... Uh, Dinwo decides to go for a, uh, obviously a fast barracks or some uh, Reaper harass or, or whatever. This is going to be a good game, I am sure of it. Um, Dinwo going to go ahead and start that wall off, um, even though he doesn't know where Kodiak is. Um, if if there's a possibility on this map, you don't know where your opponent spawns, and so double extractor trick, um, and so <laughs> you don't know where your op opponent is. So. Kodiak is playing random. There's a possibility that he's Zerg, which, of course, we know that he is, but Dinwo doesn't. So if you got six pulled um, in a tournament like this, uh, you know, you don't know where your opponent is, um, and it would just be a bitter taste in your mouth. Although um, Dinwo is not going to scout his close position. He's actually going to scout far away. So going to go ahead and start this barracks. And uh, uh, spawning pool, very, very similarly timed as well. Um, Dinwo does have an extra harvester at this point, um, but we see that <clears throat> three uh, drones being uh, on the production tab for Kodiak. So, just want to go ahead and say um, thank you to our sponsor, uh, Navigus, uh, who's helped out a lot uh, just generally with the tournament. They did door prizes and they helped uh, pay for the big wall chart for the, the standings on the tournament. So thank you very much, uh, Navigus. Go ahead and check them out on the interwebs. And uh, this spawning pool is almost done right when we've uh, got this overload production. Uh, Spawning pool overlord at 15 is is usually uh, pretty pretty standard um, for for Zerg that's not going to want to tech tech quickly. So uh, this drone just coming here almost gets in, uh, but this but Dinwo raises up his supply depot at just the right time, and that drone is just going to make it out of there for the time being. Uh, this SUV is going to come in here and see what's up with Kodiak. Um, it looks like this drone actually is going to make it out alive uh, with 8 HP. So. Marine uh, just gave up on that one and is going to go home. Uh, but Dinwo <coughs> looks like uh, just keeping it with the uh, Marines for right now. Uh, really, he's got some extra money he needs to be spending right now, maybe on a factory or uh, or something like that, maybe another barracks, um, or he's going to get another refinery. So I would definitely like to see a uh, okay. We're going to see a reactor and then a uh, maybe a I don't know if, if he's going to get all this gas. Um, <laughs> if he's going to get all this gas, he needs to be using it, and he's not going to use that on Marines. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, what he does use that for. And interesting, very interesting, Kodiak going for a very fast expand to the gold expansion. Um, while he's concerned about Dinwo's computer there in the comments, he is not concerned about this uh, expansion getting attacked anytime soon. Apparently he saw Dinwo turtling up, and uh, here goes that factory. And uh, he's he's not afraid at all of uh, of being scouted or anything like that. So so very gutsy. Got lots of zerglings uh, to help protect that. Uh, be interesting to see uh, what he plans to use his gas for. Uh, we don't have speed yet, um, but these zerglings are moving across the map. Um, look at the spinning tab. Uh, Kodiak has spent a lot more on. Um, on army so far, so I think he does feel feel pretty confident. Uh, he's also spent more on um, economy as uh, army too, um, because he's been keeping on top with his macro. Whereas Dinwo has let it slip a little bit with over 300 minerals, unless he's saving it for a command center, which uh, you know these zerglings are not going to make it. Uh, really, these zerglings are just dying right now, and this is not what Kodiak needs to be doing at all. All these zerglings are dying, and they're not even getting through a. Supply depot. That was that was really not what Kodiak needed to be doing right there because now um, he's lost 500 minerals. Uh, that basically Dinwo has a 500 mineral advantage right now just because of that. Um, now he is taking the other uh, gold expansion, um, so we're gonna see how this works. Uh, if he can, if Kodiak can survive long enough. To uh, to actually get this saturated and and get the income he needs to reproduce an army, uh, then 
Dinwo is going to be a world of hurt because right now Dinwo is working off one base, um, and <laughs> and Kodiak's working off three. So you've got to give him props for that. He uh, Kodiak is is very gutsy. And if this works, this is he's going to work big. Um, going to uh, layer tech. Tech and uh, let's see units right now. Um, he he doesn't have any army whatsoever right now. Whereas Dinwo does have nine marines and a hellion. Uh, so really, um, I guess what Kodiak needs to get right now, or I guess are banelings, uh, because Dinwo's. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Dinwo's hellion is just going to melt through zerglings. And those Marines are certainly going to eat through a lot of Zerglings. Um, so Banelings are, are really, I think, going to, to help him out a lot, and, and Roaches as well. Um, and he is getting a lot of uh, a lot more Zerglings. Uh, income right now shows that, of course, Kodiak is is pretty far ahead. He's got a pretty awesome rocking economy. And if he can stay on top of his macro, he needs to get through Jones here on this extractor. If he can stay on top of his macro and just keep producing um, more and more units, he's going to catch up on his army, and it, everything is going to work out. Um, but right now, with all these minerals he's got coming in, he just can't produce units fast enough. So he needs, he needs to take another expansion down here, which might be what he's doing, or <laughs> make or or make a another hatchery in his base just so he can use uh, that hatchery to produce units. Because right now, um, Dino does still just have nine marines and one hellion, so it looks like he's been macroing up a lot. Whereas uh, Kodiak does have 26 zerglings, so this uh, is still still only mining off of one extractor. Uh, so he needs to be doing that, uh, handling that just a little bit better. I when. When Dinwo watches this replay, I wonder what he's going to think when he sees that Kodiak has two more expansions than him, uh, both of which are the gold. Um, so, and he's got a queen at each expansion, and he's just pumping, pumping drones out like nobody's business. Um, you know, we do see two Vikings coming in here. Um, this queen can't hold those off, um, but these Vikings have such a long range that they can they can start trying to pick off. Uh, some of these overlords and with these mobility that these Vikings are, are going to get are, are actually going to give Dinwo uh, he could easily scout these two e expansions but um, if, if he doesn't do that uh, he's really going to be in a lot of trouble when he realizes all this now um, with this extra money what he needs what Kodiak I feel like needs to be doing number one not uh, getting unsupply blocked uh, but number two using this um, layer tech to get hydralisk or mutalisk or that that was a lot of overlords he is actually going for an overlord drop I'm not sure that's the the best I, don't, I really don't agree with that's the best decision right now because he does he doesn't he doesn't have he doesn't have speed right now and these Vikings are going the wrong way. He doesn't have speed right now on, on his uh, overlords right now, so these are extremely slow, and these are just open targets here for these <laughs> these Vikings. And these two two Thors right now with Marines and Hellions, um, although it looks like these these overlords are going to make it into the drop. Um, these He's got lots and lots and lots of, of, of Zerglings right now. He can basically just use uh, as cannon fodder, it seems like. Um, he needs to surround those stores. That would be great because he just let all those die. Now, uh, he is going to drop. <laughs> he's going to do an overlord drop right into Dinwo's main. So Dinwo really uh, needs to be concerned right now. Uh, he's going to send these Vikings back over here. And these overlords um, are <laughs> really uh, not going to get away if the Vikings start to chase after him. Um, what, what Kodiak needs to be doing right now, though, is, yeah, he's eating up the supply line. And I think Kodiak could win if he surrounds these stores and he can, he can kill these stores. Uh, he's almost got one down. He needs to, to get the other one. Uh, production tab right now. He's got 22 Zerglings on the way, and he's just eating up this main. However, uh, General can just lift up his buildings, and he, he is doing that, of course. So until until Kodiak can use some of his higher higher tech, he's okay. He's getting hydralis, or at least he has the ability to. Um, until he can do that, basically. Uh, Dinwo can just walk all over him because there's no way that Kodiak can kill these 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 buildings up here, uh, and this could really be bad. He, Kodiak has taken another expansion. Um, I guess when you have 1,500 minerals, though, you can, you can do that. Uh, and this hive, uh, I mean, sorry, this layer is going to go down. 
Uh, it looks like, and, and if all these overlords die, uh, that is really going to put Kodiak in a bad place because he's going to need to reproduce. He's taken another expansion. Um, <laughs> he's going to need to reproduce all those overlords so he can actually make units. Um, and right now he's got Zerglings attacking these Thors, but these Zerglings need to be attacking these SCVs. Uh, he's got six SCVs here just to repair, um, just to repair those uh, Thors. So really, uh, these Overlords uh, are not in the best place right now. One with 10 HP, one with 14, and one with, okay, that's 105. He's got a lot, a lot of Zerglings right now, but he needs something more than Zerglings. Um, Although all these Zerglings, if he if he waits and groups them together, all these Zerglings can definitely take all these stores and SCVs. Um, and <laughs> Dinwo could really be in in some trouble right now, uh, and I think is in some trouble right now. If if Dinwo doesn't just GG after these stores die, uh, he's just gonna make and he's taken an, another expansion. Um, if Dinwo doesn't just GG. Right now, then what's going to happen is he's just going to make Kodiak uh, tech up to layer uh, again. He's going to have to, uh, just so he can get some something that can attack these units. And uh, Dinwo's hanging in there, though. He is going to create a, a pretty strong wall right here and uh, try to build back up. He does have, or he he just had um, a decent amount of minerals, and he's he's going to be uh, using that to get a marine, a hellion, and uh, another hellion. So. Uh, Dinwo is very confused, uh, as I'm as I'm sure I would be too. Um, but when when you're Kodiak and you have you're working off of five bases, um, you can kind of do that. So all these Zerglings are going to stream in here. Uh, these Hellions, if they were positioned correctly, could hold off a lot of of these Zerglings. Uh, just if they were just burned through those, they don't have the Infernal Preigniter, so um, it is they're not going to be as effective as possible. But um, they still could hold off a lot, although I think in the end uh, Kodiak is going to be able to break through this wall. Um, and and this, this main is, is starting to, to get pretty low on a, on a lot of things. Um, been some supply depots right now. And here, here we come in with all these Zerglings, which really, uh, even if Dinwa was able to kill a lot of these Zerglings, it really wouldn't matter uh, because at, at the end of the day... Um, Kodiak can just reproduce a lot of them, and he's already got, he's already got uh, a spire. So it's really just a, a matter of time. He is making three mutilists. Um, he he's just really uh, limited on on gas right now. So um, he actually got summary right here, and he's got three mutilists right there. So uh, it's it's over for Dinwo. I'm just not sure if he knows it or not yet. Um, <laughs> this is this has been a really exciting game. I'm gonna go out here with. Uh, one hellion. Uh, as far as far as yeah, as far as Dinwo knows, this is the map for Dinwo. If you look here in, in the, the bottom left, um, he doesn't see any of the five bases. Okay, he sees one um, that he sees there, and he's he's gonna spot that around. He's gonna take out some some drones there. Uh, basically, Kodiak is just mining gas right now because that's really what he needs to be able to produce um, those uh, mutilists. Uh, and he does have uh, 11 mules right now, and he more is coming on the way. These mules are just going to run down in here and uh, take out take out that hellion. Um, <clears throat> and of course, uh, still Dinwo. That's that's all he sees. So he doesn't realize there are four more bases, and so he's probably just going to send out these units um, to attack down here and think he can maybe try to finish them off, um, or he might actually do some some scouting uh, with them. The places and just kind of fly by there. Uh, those Hellions are not going to live for very much longer. <clears throat> and these Mulas can come in here and just kind of pretty much clean up. Uh, yeah, Dinwo is pretty confused right now as far as where uh, where his bases are. He knows he, Kodiak has some bases. He's just not exactly sure um, exactly where these Mulas are coming from. Uh, Missile Turret is trying to come up, but just not in time. Dinwo is very sad, um, <laughs> as I'm sure I would be too, uh, against five bases. Uh, but basically, I mean, Kodiak could do that because he had map control, and so many of these other games, I've just said, okay, he goes in GGs, but so many of these other games, I'm like, okay, if you're attacking, you need to expand because you have map control, and Kodiak definitely understands that. So, um, that was a pretty great game. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm an album cover signing off.